Oh, and you basically got two two EPs out. Yep, two EPs out. Explain those because they're both called Hotspot. What is 2.0, right? Uh, yeah, it's Hotspot so, and Hotspot 2.0. Yeah. Hotspot um, came out last this past May, uh, May 2014, right? Mm -hmm. And um, that was we recorded that pretty much ourselves with some uh, additional engineering and mixing from a guy named Alex Hamill. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, he's a great guy. We also worked with him on Hotspot 2. Um, but we did, uh, as opposed to Hotspot 2, we did a lot more of the recording ourselves on Hotspot 1. Yeah, you, you did. Uh, where did you record them? Uh, we recorded most of the tracks, the drums, the guitars, everything but the bo vocals, I believe, uh, at our home studio um, in downtown Grand Rapids. Um, so that like was really in a fun. home. Yeah, in a Isn't home. Isn't that great that you can do yeah. that now? Yeah. Well, I don't know if you know too much about the uh, Heritage Hill area, but all those houses are ancient. Like our house was built in. 1906 and they're massive these massive houses and they have tons of different apartments in them my dad a lot of secret passageways exactly my like dad, really secret passageways like scooby-doo kind of stuff oh yeah it was cre there's <laughs> there's creepy there's some creepy stuff down there man <laughs> but um it smells bad yeah it's just like an old house and my dad used to rent out the apartments to different people but then he stopped having tenants because the band would practice in the basement every weekend and who who wants to live in a house where they have to wake up to racket that early right, in the morning right right um so all these vacant apartments, that's so much room for experimentation sonically and just being able to hear the different ways that, um, for instance, there's a bathroom in one of the apartments that is completely made of tile, like tile floors, tile walls, tub, appliances, and so you throw a guitar amp in there, throw some reverb on it, and that is just like, you throw some mics in the corners and whatnot, that, man, Sings. it's glorious. It's glorious. So we did most of our first EP like that besides the vocals like I said we did the vocals at um, our engineer Alex Hamill's house just so he could you know the thing about recording vocals is always kind of weird because it's it's a little it can get a little awkward because you're just like singing and oh is that good um, so th to do it with a producer type guy listening in he can say well why don't you sing that line like this because that sounded really good right so that's why we did that that way hotspot 2 on the other hand that was four or five months down the road that that came out in uh well we started working on it like three months after we came out with hotspot and then it came out in december of last year um that was almost as kind of funny uh we different ball yeah game. exactly it was it, it was a lot uh more rock influenced a lot of uh the killers u2 stuff like okay. that okay. influence on there kings of leon um and it was almost it was kind of funny the songs on hotspot 2 we wrote before hotspot 1 so it was almost like taking a step back. Going so we, yep. And then I will say that the songs on Hotspot, Hot, the first Hotspot EP, uh, definitely symbolize where we are, where we have gotten. However, I will say that both EPs were kind of a, they define the transition period between Spitting Image and where we are now.